Hello everyone, in this video, let's see SR flip-flop connected as master-slave flip-flop. Let us see what is master-slave and how this SR flip-flop will be act as master-slave device. In the master-slave flip-flop, we will be having one SR flip-flop connected with other SR flip-flop back to back. Here the first device will be act as master and the second device will be act as slave. For the master, we have connected a clock. The second device which is acting as a slave will be connected with inverted clock. Means if you see the clock wave, it look like this. This is the clock we are applying for the master and this is the slave clock which is inverted version of that. Here we need to understand this SR flip-flop what we have designed for a positive edge trigger. Means it is going to activate or behave when positive edge of the clock is comes as input and it will generate the output. But because of the inverted version of the clock given to the slave device, the positive edge if you are going to look at here for the master, the slave will get the positive edge over here. Means if you look at the main clock signal, whenever there is a negative edge timing over here, at that time the slave will get the positive edge. Means if you are going to write the waveform with respect to this clock, we need to assume that master will be on over here, means master output will be look over here in the positive edge of the clock. In the negative edge of the clock, we are assuming that slave is going to operate. That's why slave is on here. Similarly, again, at this positive edge, master will be on and at the negative edge, slave will be on and so on. And practically, if you look at the clock signal, it look like this. This is the practical clock signal. When the clock signal is going from 0 to 1, it will take some delay. It will take some rise time delay. We call it as TR. Similarly, when it is coming from 1 to 0, it will take some time. We call it as fall time delay. It takes some time to rise from 0 to 1 and also it, also it will take some time to come from 1 to 0. We call it as rise time fall time. Because of that, up to 10% of increase, we call it as logic 0. Here also, when it come back to 0, up from this point onwards, we treat it as 0. And similarly, when it rises up to 90% of the voltage, we treat it as logic 1. Here also up to here it is logic 1. So we say up to this time and up to here, we say this is the positive level of the clock. We say master is on in this duration. And this is when clock is low, as I said here, slave is on. This is the duration where slave is on. And from this point onwards, slave become off and master become on. Similarly, up to this point, master is on. From this point onwards, slave become on. This is how we can understand the master slave flip-flop. Now let us look at the waveforms. For that, I have taken SR flip-flop truth table here. You can see when S and R are having different values, these are the values we are going to get at Q and Q bar. Now let me take some random values for S and R. These are the values I have taken. So starting with S is equal to 1 and R is equal to 0. And S changed to 0 here. Still R is 0. And S is 0 and R is changing to 1. And S is 1, R is 1. So we get all the four cases. So for this, QM is the output of the master. And let us draw QS also that is output of the slave. And remember, this master will be operate with positive edge of the clock and we need to observe the output of the slave at the negative edge of the clock. If we write this clock bar as a clock signal here, then we need to look at the positive edge of the clock bar signal. But I am taking this clock as reference here. So whenever the negative edge of the clock comes, slave output we need to consider. So let us look at the output for first set of values that is 1 0. For 1 0, you can see at the positive edge of the clock, we need to look for master output. So the master output is QM for 1 0 values. What is for 1 0? Q will be 1. So QM is raised to 1 value. At that time, slave will be off. So the previous value is continued. What happens when the clock is at the negative edge? Negative edge means clock bar becomes 1 at the positive edge of clock bar. So at that time, this output of the slave will be raised to 1. Similarly, 
the next change happened over here in the next time unit here you can see s is 0 and r is 0 at that time qm will be same why because for 0 0 values q will be same as q q bar will be same as q bar we call it as hold state in this hold state whatever the previous value we have this one will be continued for s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 0 similarly qs also get continued even in the negative edge of the clock it will not change because previous value is 1 so when the next positive edge of the clock comes s is 0 and r is 1 here so for 0 1 inputs we need to say the output q is 0 means it should come back to 0 so qm is coming back to 0 from 1 and qs is changing in the negative edge of the clock with respect to clock and now the next value change occurred over here it is 1 1 now for 1 1 what is the output it is z we say intermediate state sometimes we may write it as x unknown also so here for 1 1 in the positive edge of the clock it will change to z value and qs if you see it will change from the negative edge this is my negative edge at this time it is changed to z value in the next positive edge of clock again it is 1 1 if it is 1 1 z continues in the negative edge of the clock also if you look at the slave this z continues here what we need to understand is that in the positive edge of the clock we are expecting the change from the master in the negative edge of the clock with respect to the main clock this slave is going to change its value and this qm will be the input for this slave so qm means it is yes for the slave so when s is equal to 1 it is changing to 1 in the negative edge similarly when s is equal to 1 it is continuing its state when s becomes 0 r is 1 so q s will be changed to 0 when unknown state is the input for the slave output will go indeterminate this is how we can understand the master slave behavior of any flip-flop here i have taken sr flip-flop as example you can take any flip-flop and it will be act as a master and save in the same way.